the French jet engine manufacturer Safran is likely to strike a prestigious contract with India for developing a fifth generation fighter jet engine. Indian media have hinted that, though it has not been officially confirmed whether Safran has been finally selected. Many companies were in the fray for helping India develop such a jet engine. The other companies being G of the United States and Rolls Royce of the UK. It seems that there is a trust in India regarding this French jet engine manufacturer because Safran is already, you know, uh, cooperating with the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and they have jointly developed an, a helicopter engine. Moreover, Surf, Safran has got uh, maintenance, repair and overall facility in India. Meanwhile, earlier it was expected that the GE would jointly develop a jet engine with India. But because of the delays from the part of GE to supply jet engines for India's light combat aircraft Tejas 1A. That trust is partially lost. There is definitely a trust deficit in India when it comes to the G. So perhaps that could be an advantage for the French jet engine manufacturer. The whole deal is pretty big. That would cost an estimated of uh, sum of around 7 billion US dollar, not a small sum. So this is the situation. What is the promise of Safran? Then will the jet engine fit into the airframes of proposed India's AMCA, that is the fifth generation fighter jet, then Tejas MK2 and there is also another you know, fighter jet being planned that is a deck based fighter jet which is for India's aircraft carrier. Let's break it down. Welcome to Insights. I am Hari Kumar. The other day India's media published a report saying there is a fair chance for Safran uh, to sign a, an agreement with India's G DRDO that is the Defense Development and Research Organization which is the premier organization in the government sector. Safran is already holding talks with GTRE that is Gas Turbine Research Establishment which is a part of DRDO that is going to develop this jet engine. Safran seems to have promised total transfer of technology to India. They have also promised to help India set up a supply chain that is important. You know, you may have technology if you don't have that supply chain network then it's not going to be easy so the primary aim of india has been to develop a supply chain network and safran reportedly promised india to uh, help them set up a supply chain network already there have there are many companies in india manufacturing parts for uh, you know jet uh, for the aviation sector for example i said there is an mro facility already of safran in India already. Then there are companies in India owned by Tata Group, then Larsen and Trubo, Tubro and other private sector Adani Group etc. for manufacturing parts of jet engines, manufacturing parts of aircrafts, hull of aircrafts, then you know seats, everything. Slowly India is building an ecosystem. Now uh, if India is able to manufacture a jet engine, now that will be an orbital leap for India's companies. Now let's analyze the promised about the promised jet engine. The promised jet engine will be will produce a thrust of thrust between 120 kilonewton and 140 kilonewton. So that is that perfectly you know satisfies the need of future aircraft fighter jet program of India. As per newspaper reports, Safran has promised, assured India that the proposed uh, fighter jet engine will perfectly fit into uh, India's Tejas MK2, 
then AMCA, Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, then the deck based twin engine fighter jet also. Earlier, it was expected that uh, G's F414 engine is going to you know, power those aircrafts. But Safran uh, proposed engine is, I think it provides better thrust. F414 was expected to give a thrust of around 98.5 or around that kilonewton thrust. But this engine will provide a thrust of 120 kilonewton and above. So that is going to perfectly suit India's needs. Then as per reports, uh, India needs to, you know, India had actually uh, in view, uh, actually thought that G engine is going to power India's aircrafts and India designed aircrafts with that in mind. But Safran has promised that there need not be much change in the aircraft airframe to fit in the new engine. So that is a solace to India because India was worried over that if in, because all these fighter jets were designed with F414 or its derivative in mind. Now as per reports, this jet engine is going to, you know, when it, uh, when the length, diameter or, you know, the, the mounting interface is considered, this engine perfectly fits the, fill the, fills the slot. So this is, this is perfectly suited for the, the future jets. Then again, this jet engine will have reduced infrared signature. Then it will have super cruise capability. So all these perfectly fits in fits India. And the fact that this is going to, you know, power, is suited to power three fighter jet programs. That is a something, that's a great advantage for India. Because India doesn't need to, you know, spend huge money for that. When it comes to Tejas MK2, uh, I think the jet engine, the Tejas initially it is going to be powered by F414 only, but locally developing that engine in India, I think that has been called off. That program may not be, may not uh, you know continue. The, India may buy some F414 engines that uh, that are going to initially power the Tejas MK2, but in, a, in a, at a later stage. When uh, there is, a, you know, when it is going to be refitted, then the new jet engine of Safran will be used. So this is the situation. It is said that the new, new the jet engine that is going to be developed will have a length of 4000 millimeter and which has a diameter of 1100 millimeter. So this is going to be there. That means that minimal airframe modification is to be carried out by India for even for, you know, the AMCA or the deck based fighter or the Tejas MK2. Why India suddenly lost, uh, you know, trust in G? Because it was after much deliberation that India uh, decided to partner with G. Normally Indian companies are not known for part partnering with US companies because there is, it's a truth, it is explicit truth that India doesn't have much trust on US when it comes to defen defense matters. But that has been changing over a period. It's another fact that over the, after Donald Trump took charge, again the situation has uh, completed a full circle and the situation is back to zero. So India lost faith because initially the GE promised to supply F404 engines for Tejas MK1A in 2023, but that got delayed. Now, even this is 2025, even now, they have only supplied just five engines. India was to, the, the manufacturer of the Tejas HAL was expected to hand over 12 fighter jets to Indian Air Force this March, I mean 2026 March. But it seems that they will not be able to do that. Again, it is going to be going to delay. I think it is that delay which damaged the relationship. So anyway, as per final reports, it seems that 
uh, Safran is going to get the contract. Meanwhile, India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh recently in an interview said it won't need 10 years for India to make a new jet, jet engine. The, manuf the, the manufacturing of the jet engine is going to, I mean, the whole process is going to start right in 2026. That means uh, the work on the new engine is going to start very soon. So anyway, it seems almost the decision has been made almost. Let's wait for some more time. I will be back with updates. Till then, goodbye.